everybody it's Rebecca and welcome to my kitchen and yes I'm still in my real kitchen today I'm making maple nut fudge um this one's really easy to make and it's also another one that's really good for the fall because of the maple and in my pot right at this time I have three cups of sugar and I use cane sugar I have three-fourths cup of butter, which is a stick and a half, and then two-thirds of a cup of carnation evaporated milk. Make sure it's evaporated and not um, the other kind, the condensed. And I'm just going to, I have it on medium like I always do. And really this is the beginning of any really good flavored fudge is your sugar, your butter, and your milk. And this is what we're going to bring up to a boil. And this is another one that once it starts to boil continuously, you will continue to cook it for five minutes. Have on hand maple extract, a seven ounces of um, marshmallow cream or marshmallow fluff and a bag of white um, chips. The white, what we say, chocolate chips or baking chips. I put it in my 11 by seven pan. It'll make it kind of high. And it is all done with, I use cooking spray to put it in there. So, oh, and I do have some walnuts for this one because this is maple nut. So I do have some walnuts. You can use pecans or pecans, whatever way you say it, but I use walnuts for this one. And it's like all the other ones. It's got to come to a boil. Medium heat. Now the maple flavor, of course, comes from the maple flavoring. And you probably go, oh, could I make anything out of that? Yeah. This is the base of it. What you put in it after, you put the chocolate chips in and the fluff, whatever flavoring. I'm using right now maple, but you'll see in others where I'm basically doing the same thing and adding like lemon. You could do cranberry or a cherry flavor and then add your nuts. I mean, there's so many different flavors you can come up with. If there's an extract for it, you can use it in replace of this. So this is a very simple, easy base fudge using the extract for the flavoring. Yes, you could make strawberry. Yes, you could make cherry. Yes, you could make lemon. Um, whatever extract you want to use to make that flavor, that's what you use. Could you use, um, uh, like dried cherries for a cherry one or? Yeah, you can put whatever fruit or nuts you combo you want in at the end. If you have cherry extract, you could put cherry extract in it and then chop up nuts and dried cherries and stick in it would be a wonderful fudge i have recipes for all of those lemon but i'm just saying as long as you have this base along with the white chips and the marshmallows you can make whatever flavor you want to make as long as you have the extract for it now this is starting to come up to a boil but it's got to be a full boil and as you can see i have a new pan and i bought some new spatulas that aren't going to come off this is all one unit i found these and i went oh these are perfect this is what i needed but this pan is a um it's it's an expensive pan i bought it just for making candy and fudge and stuff with um so i would have the right equipment and then my thermometer i got rid of my candy thermometer and if I was using a thermometer, this would be it right here, is this candy thermometer. 
Um, it's an instant thermometer, which I like. So I've been putting that, I don't know why that's coming off. Maybe I don't have it in the track right. So that's been, that's gonna help too. Oop, I splattered myself. Now I can tell that the sugar is coming up on the side so I need to get that down and it's starting to come to a full boil and I'm going to leave it sit so I can tell hopefully this is a good even pan Sean and I went out to the apple farm and um, I picked up some maple syrup that's done here in Ohio. Um, I just bought a little one just to have in my kitchen. And here we go. It's up boiling. Alexa, set a timer for five minutes. And so I'm going to let this boil right now for five minutes. If you want to come back, you can. No, you don't. How much time's left on my timer? You have two minutes left on your five minute timer. It won't go too far. Because it's at soft boil. Okay, I've got it done and I can tell that it's good. I can always tell because it's the way that it shapes itself. I'm going to add my white chocolate in there. We're going to let it soften up a little bit and then we're going to stir it. There it goes. hot and my seven ounces of marshmallow cream or fluff depending on what's part of the United States you're in there's that This is what it looked like when I did um, the um, coconut. We just added coconut flavoring and some coconut. Alexa, stop. It went to a soft boil stage quicker than I thought it would. Now, you need two, that's two teaspoons and a half a teaspoon. Uh -huh. uh, I'm sorry, yeah, maple. Maple extract. Ooh, that smells strong. I'm pouring my nuts. Now I'm going to get this all together and blend it and make sure it's nice and smooth. Now it smells mapley, doesn't it? Oh yeah. And it looks good. So I'm going to pour.
This is a good fall one. And there we go. And I'm going to put this in the refrigerator and chill it for about an hour. And when it's up, we'll come back and we'll have a piece. Until then, I'll talk to you later. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. I've taken it out of the pan, and there it is. It's all done. It needs to sit for a few minutes and kind of warm up. But um, there it is, and it's really good. Um, it's got a very good maple taste in it, and the... Um, the nuts really just help it out. Those pecans are really good in it. I mean, walnuts. walnuts. I'm sorry. Walnuts. Yeah, it is good. It's really good. Really sweet. I'm going to chop this up and put it on a plate for Sean to take to work tomorrow. So everybody can try it there at work. Um, I like to hear their opinions too. And I might drop some stuff over next door. And give them a few bites of this. So this is it. This is the maple walnut fudge or maple nut fudge. Give it a try. Thank you for joining us. And uh, let me know if you try this or if you're going to try it. Great one for Thanksgiving along with the pumpkin one um, that I did. And um, we'd make a nice, uh, be nice on a dessert table. So I'll see you next time on Rebecca's Sweet Kitchen. For now, bye.